Welcome to Whips and Sips. I'm Justine. I'm Shelly. I'm Shannon. Shelly's My sister. sister. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's been a few weeks. Yeah. Top of the evening to you. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. E well, getting well, to be. Getting to be. Yeah. We are after the shop closes on Saturday, May 28th. 7th. 7th. I can confirm it's the 27th. Is Thank, it you. 27th? Yeah. Thank you. 27th. <laughs> my bad. I don't even have to look at my wrist or anything and I know. <laughs> we were all looking at for at our watches, looking at our phones, our cameras. Well, and it was about a year ago that I was on with you. Yes, because I, you you came on right before we went to Stitchcon, which yeah, we're, I, we're about to go oh. again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, this is floss tube number 34. Believe it or not. Really? Maybe I should write that down so when I you can yes. film it, I don't I'm forget. not writing anything down. I'm just <laughs> going to sit here and be quiet. Just like last time. I'm <laughs> drinking Diet Coke. <laughs> I'm drinking a green, a Lipton green, Diet Green Tea. As am I in my teacup it. because it's all, that's all I drink out of this is that. Yeah. I Can I do one thing? Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> Jeannie has been asking when you're going to be on again. Yes. Oh. Well, Leanne is was asking too. They both they both have been. Well, and we made a mistake <laughs> last time. We said that Leanne made both our bags. Oh. And Jeannie made one, and Leanne made one. Oh, I didn't bring mine with. I'm sorry. It's mine so is cute. the goats, and hers is the goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both, girls. Awesome. Yes, thank you so much. Um, what else? We want to thank all of our subscribers. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you for, if, if you've been a subscriber for a while, thank you for coming back. We appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. And we hope that you'll uh, subscribe and, and join us for all the fun that we have here. And make sure you take your Advil first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have big news. We hit over 5,000 subscribers. We're up over the 5,000 mark. That is due in part, I believe, to several floss tubers that have mentioned us on their programs. Thank you. Um, for sure, we know Carol Saltbox Stitcher. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching have, have mentioned us before, but we were actually in their new little spot for silver and gold yep. friends. We, we were they silver. mentioned us, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. a new floss tuber called a Dutch Stitcher, Justine says. I have not watched her yet, so I will be going to do mm -hmm, that. Me too. Um, but yeah, so please, if if anybody knows of anyone else that has mentioned us, please let us know so that we can thank them properly yes. because we really appreciate it. Yes. I do have to mention one thing. Hopefully, since Carol mentioned us, Saltbox Stitcher, mm -hmm. hopefully she's watching. But Carol... Little do you know, oh, we, yeah. one about one year ago, we were on our way to StitchCon yeah. last June, and it was right at the time of um, Country Samplers, is it Stitch Camp? Summer School. Summer, no, no. Stitch Camp. Yeah. Stitch, Stitch Camp? camp? Yeah. Okay. We were shopping in the store that day, and yeah. Carol was shopping yes. too. In fact, Shannon and I stood in line with her and visited with her, and she probably oh, does she... not even know that. So, and I think, Justine, you helped her find a pattern. Oh, and just so, yeah. so gracious. And oh, just... Such... just such a nice gal. Yeah. yeah. Of so course, anyway. we were totally, you know, fangirling yeah. it. We walked in the door and Shelly turned around and said, oh, it's Carol Saltbox. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, we, it was that was fun. really, that was fun. It was fun. <laughs> I also had another little um, uh, brush with greatness since we met last. Um, I had called down to Attic Needlework. Oh to get a pattern that um, I, I think only they sell. I think it's a pattern that of hers, of her, of Jean Lee's. Oh. And I wanted to get it. And so I gave him a call and the phone rang and someone picked up and all of a sudden I heard added needlework. This is Jean. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you have got to be kidding me. I kind of stammered, I think, at first. Oh, I mean, sure. we had met her at market, and she is also lovely and gracious and whatnot. But I just, 
I don't know why I didn't expect her to answer the phone, but we had such her a store, nice, but you know, <laughs> yeah, we had such a nice chat and Justine has been, you know, wanting to get down there to the attic. So have I. And, and so she, uh, she told me, she knows that you left her a message, Justine, she's going to be back in touch with you. But oh, cool. yeah, she even said to me, Oh, we'd really like you girls to come to one of our events. So that we'd really like to come. that we would really yeah. love to come. For sure. Okay, sure. then it's my turn. Oh my okay. gosh. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Buckle up. Okay. Oh boy. Since we are going to StitchCon and yes. Keepsakes, I have um, called down to Keepsakes for a couple things that I have ordered. The first time I called down to Keepsakes, I apologize, I can't remember which gal I got, but I think I was laughing for 10 minutes straight. We were having such a good time. And the gals stitching, they weren't stitching, they were playing something else because you could hear them giggling in the background. And I'm like, oh, I want to come stitch with you guys. <laughs> Then I called back down again, and I, I think it was a different one that I got this time. And we just hooted and hollered to, I mean, how fun to yeah. pick up and call another shop. And yeah. they know who you are, and I know who they are. Yeah. And it was, so hats off to you girls at Keepsakes. So <laughs> thank you, thank you. We can't wait to see yep. you in a couple weeks. All of Getting you, excited. yes. Very excited. So what else? Yeah, we're our drinks are... Um, just kind of random today. We we kind of threw this together quickly. We've mm -hmm. I've been busy because we have a daughter that graduated from college and has moved home until she finds work. And so we've been busy moving her and I, I just didn't have time to prepare a cocktail for today. So when the nest isn't empty anymore, it's a huge adjustment for mom and it dad. It is. Yes. Yeah. So oh yeah. They come from college and they've got their days and nights mixed up oh, yes. they, oh it's yeah it's we're, we definitely have that it's so. a learning curve and you too again. i believe yeah la, 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 <laughs> well when i was on last year it was because you were getting ready for her graduation That's party right. at your yeah. house and you just said i don't have and so yeah yeah so and a year ago it's just amazing what, what do you sing shannon we both had musicals in um at church and I don't mean this the mean way, but you guys had it first because you were older and we had the same one. It was called Life. Life. And every yep. once in a while, Shannon sings Life. Ba, 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 <laughs> That's ba, ba, right. Ba. Yep, for sure. <laughs> for sure. All right. Anything else we want to talk about before we dig in here? Let's dig. Let's dig in. Ready? On your mark. FFOs. I got some. I, got I some. have none. Shannon, do you have any? I have some. But there's part of my whip go, but I don't know. I, I do have some. You go but, for it. Well, let's let the newbie go first. Oh, gee, thanks. Well, <laughs> my my whip go for this year is a little different in that I just decided I was going to FFO two things a month because my under the bed box is this deep and I never do anything with it. So I have been practicing and I am a complete amateur. I mean, the sewing machine is like, oh my gosh, I swear it's Satan in a sewing machine. But, <laughs> <laughs> sorry Justine, but I have kept up with my two FFOs a month. And I'll start, I'll show you this, this little pillow. If you remember last time, this is the first thing I stitched. This is what... When I got back to cross-stitching, Justine threw it in my breezeway door during COVID. And if you remember, I now know that if you don't like a color, you can change it because I hate that color of blue in the middle. But <laughs> I did it. I did it. And it's beautiful. I made it myself and I put some rickrack around the edge. So are you a stitch the rickrack on or a glue the um, rickrack This then? is glued, but okay. I have one coming that I'll show you that. Okay. Is. And then I... This is beautiful. And here's another little pin keep. That was one of my That's cute. FFOs that my, you know, I'm practicing. I'm learning. It's I'm awesome. learning. It's but it's cute. Job. This is a hands-on design. No. Heart and hand. Heart and hand. Yeah. And I did a bunch of um, Valentine things because I wanted to do winter stitch camp. Colorado Cosby. Mm -hmm. And one of it was stitch a collection. Well, I, I made up a little collection because I didn't have one, but. So that was another one of my FFOs. Then this was a freebie pattern that Justine had on her counter right when she opened. And I did a mounted 
flat fold. Can wow, you believe nice. it? Impressive. Yeah, it says cute little lamb. Shannon, they look nice. They do. Ah, tis spring. Then um, I had stitched these. They are so cute. They are, they are cute. adorable. I have, I bought this, I bought this um, cookbook stand, I think is what it is, at Hobby Lobby. And you can see on there, that's a Lizzie Kate um, samplers. Oh, that's cute. That is summer. And I put those on here. Spring, I just took down and put there. Spring. Here's Autumn. Mm, they are so cute. And here's Winter. And I'll just change those out. I just have a washer on the back. And then all the all the little, you know, you buy those chip clips and they're supposed to clip to your refrigerator, but after you use them long enough, the little magnet falls off. Yeah. Well, that's what you use. That's where they are. Nice. And then I, they just hook right through that. So that's worked out pretty well for me. Nice. So what are we up to? I mean, that's two, four, six, seven. Here's eight. This is adorable. Brenda Gervais. I love this one. Blue, Bluebird so out my window. And I just have it in here with a command strip, actually, on this little, uh, what do they call these? Tobacco, tobacco baskets. baskets. Yeah. Yeah, that's that I got at the dollar store. But I, I just love it. That is cute. And then, oh my gosh, did you finish these? Oh, <gasps> Shannon! <laughs> yes, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Wait till you see them. Oh, oh my Shannon, hands. they're so cute. I oh. have been stewing about this. How was I ever going to do this? It First, was easy, wasn't it? It was easier than I ever dreamed. Yeah. I joined the Hands On Design Gather Round club and these are oh the they are beautiful spring, and they live on this little jude garland and they're just on with magnets and oh. i'm working on the the next series the summer series which is uh gathering butterflies oh how oh, that's cute. so i did do that and this is this rick rack is stitched now next time i am going to try maybe ironing a little um, interfacing on the back because it shows all the it's um you, you stitch threads. them well it's uh what do you call that when you frame and you lace lace, lace. oh okay yeah. they're laced okay and i just thought they well maybe they could look a little prettier even though you don't see it yeah i i may try that because i just glue a magnet on the back and then you and you, I got all this all together. I'm sure many of you are in this this club, but this was I was really stewing about this. But I, oh my land, I, I did it! Gorgeous! I can't believe it! I'm so proud of you. Yes, that's wonderful. Then when I got here today, um, I did Colorado. I did summer camp. Summer camp one summer, not last two, summer. Yeah, summer two before. Years ago. And this was one of my stitches. And I gave this to my friend Mara. And my gosh, did she not do a gorgeous job? Oh, that is it's so got a little it's beautiful. Um, 2023 charm on the back of here. That is so cute. Uh, it is just, you know, I told her I had an idea. The buttons, I bought the buttons and put the buttons on the top. But I kind of told her what I thought I wanted. And she did so much more. She does what you want, and then she does a little more. Yeah. It's just She's, beautiful. She does beautiful. It's work. just beautiful. Thank you, Mara. I couldn't be happier with this. Good deal. I got one more. Okay. I didn't finish oh, that's this. Right. I did not finish this, Ooh. but my daughters, when, when I told them that you had asked me to come again, they said, well, you have to take your framed piece. I have one framed piece but it is an absolute treasure. And I think I showed it last time, but it was not framed. Wasn't framed yeah. This is the Prairie Schooler Garden Alphabet. Lift it up just a touch, there you go. It's beautiful. That I stitched in memory of my dad. I started it on his birthday. It's on 32 count taupe. I had to look that up today. And it's 
beautifully framed by L and M Framing. Lisa, yep. Lisa Manton. You know. Lisa Manton at L and M Framing. Oh my goodness, I yeah. just fabulous. And news to her. <laughs> When I go to StitchCon, I hope to leave this there with her. No, I'm sorry. You can see it's not on the fabric. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But I, I do. The person who cut well, it. Well, I, I just <laughs> hope that I hope that she will say, "Oh, that's no big deal." This is the Prairie Schooler Christmas alphabet that I stitched. I started this on my mom's birthday it's beautiful. and finished so it. So I want her, Lisa, to frame this. Are you but, gonna pick the same frame? Um, I don't know. Okay. okay, now let's go back. This is how the Nunzia basket was started. Oh, yes. this is this is the that's one. The, this is the Nunzia basket. We yeah. have a yeah. basket that people can pick up stuff that yeah. they've ordered. Yeah. It's not just a basket. It's a what it's shall we? The Nunzia basket. Yeah, because it's Nunzia business. What's in there? And I was, <laughs> I was I, truly, I was snooping in there. <laughs> And, and her birthday gift I was thought in there. I said, oh, Justine, do you have any more of these? <laughs> oh, I don't think I do, she said. <laughs> well, this was mine. My daughters had bought it for me. So that's why we call it the Nanya Basket, because it's Nanya Business. Nanya Business, what's in there? <laughs> but I love this, too. Um, this is on 32, what did I tell you? Mushroom Lugana. Okay. That one's on taupe. Yep. And the only thing different about this is... I don't know how everyone else feels about Prairie. I love Prairie Schooler, but the red is too rusty for me. So I substituted pomegranate. That's really pretty. For all the red, but other than that, it is. Pomegranate is a uh, general arts, I believe. Yes. Oh it gosh, is. do I have to know that? No, no, I know that. Okay, all right. So I've talked enough. Somebody take over. Justine has Thanks fully for finishes. <laughs> I have some fully finishes. I've been really busy, folks. Oh my! And if you believe that, okay. Oh God, she's is, been busy. Just she not is with, busy, yes, but not uh, with fully finishing and stitching. Things. Miss, oh, Miss look Spotted Beetle by Nora Corbett. Okay, Gwen stitched this. Oh, Gwen, she's just a fiery fingers. <gasps> Where did oh. you send that? Oh, and this is done. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are you kidding? laughing? Why are so you hard? laughing? Because it's beautiful. <laughs> well, and I and I worked really hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. But I just love it. I can't wait to get it on the wall. Oh, that is cool. Oh. But wait. Oh, I love that frame. I have been even busier. There's more. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Holy cow. Vicki stitched this Beautiful. one. Beautiful. <clears throat> and oh. this is Winter's Peace Sampler by Artful Offering. I got my foot in my bucket down here. Okay, there we go. Dear Liza, dear Liza. <laughs> There's a foot in my bucket. <clears throat> Are you ready? <gasps> yes. Are you ready? Justine. <laughs> Oh, Lord. oh, look at that with that blue frame. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> that is so Did pretty. Did you look back here? Oh, very nice. Thank you. Oh, I have one of those. I need to use one. Maybe I'll put it in. We got them at, at Quilter <laughs> Station. Yeah, get <coughs> those. Those are neat. Pardon my so, Sorry. So, yes. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Gwen. Oh. oh beautiful. beautiful. Yes, Justine, you are well, amazing. Well, you have two more <laughs> lovely models for the shop, you little yeah. turd. Yeah. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are those your only fully finishes? Yes. Okay. How about just stitchy finishes? Any? I have some. Of course she does. I'm going to lose it in about <laughs> two minutes. I'm just going to drink my tea and keep my mouth shut. Oh, can I record that to make sure that happens? <laughs> okay, Gwen also stitched this. So much light. It's from, um, it's the Curly Girls design from Mill Hill. Oh, pretty. Oh, cool. I've never seen. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Yes. Oh, neat. Look at that and the beads and everything. Oh, Thank you, pretty. Gwen. What does it say? It says, Shelly needs to tell Justine. <laughs> Some people create so much light 
that all around them grow. Yes, Isn't that I, beautiful? I do. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, get yes. the shovels out. Okay, oh I have more. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Reindeer sleigh ride. I don't think I showed this whole thing last time. This was supposed to be fully finished, but it's not. Oh. Well, you were working on that when we went to uh, Quilter Station. But it's stitchy right? finished. And right? so I, it's yeah, finished. it's stitchy finished. Oh, I'm not cute. putting oh. the bottom on because then I can that's be done cute. with it. <laughs> Did someone ask in a comment about the fabric for that? Um, not this one. Oh, I don't think so. But this is um, the Primitive Hair. Okay. Okay. But thank you because I found that fabric for the reindeers. What reindeer? I was thinking it was the reindeers from Lucy Bean from the cookbook. Oh, that's right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe night. it was this one. But this is this is the primitive hair. So look at that. And then Ooh, I went to Michelle's. That's beautiful. Ooh, and we picked out this fabric for the back. Is it so, gonna be a pillow or yes. is it okay? Oh, I love it. So that's that one. Cool. I have one more. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, I, don't I know have if a I'm feeling. Ready. I don't know. Oh if I'm my ready. gosh! <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> She's not. I told you I wanted to get it done so I could take it to Stitch Con too and get it framed. Oh Here's my, my gosh. turkey haul. Oh, Justine, good for you. Oh, oh it's look done, at done? that. I thought you were going to finish it down there and ring the bell. No, I'm going to hopefully do that with um, oh, August. That oh, is Justine. so pretty. I know. Oh, that's a, what an done. accomplishment. It is done. Good for you. So, yes. Oh. So I will get it ironed, and I too will have something to give to um to Lisa. 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 So check. <laughs> it's no longer a competition. We're gonna have to compete on something else now. There are plenty. <laughs> <laughs> That's true because we we do stitch a lot of the same yeah. stuff. That's okay, true. good so for you. My finishes are done. Awesome. All right, I did not have any finishes. Um, whips and and May Whipgo, you know, if you've been yep. stitching on stuff from May Whipgo. Well, I've seen my Whipgo. Do you want me to so start since I... You go for it. Okay, since I haven't shown anything yet. <coughs> so, I was how do you feel that. about that, Shelly? What? Not showing anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's weird, I'm sure. Yeah. So, my May Whipgo pieces were that Liberty piece with the Liberty Bell in it. I showed oh, it last yeah, time. Yeah. And I had already gotten my three days in on that at our last floss tube. But my second whip go for me was Lamb That I Love. And um, my goal for whip go, all of them, is three days on each whip go project. So I did my three days on that and I got a page finish. So I'm pretty Ooh, excited about that. Beautiful. So. Oh, I love it. Want me to hold it? I, my arms, are, arms they aren't any longer no. than yours. No, but you're getting it up. Am I getting it better? So it's, that's my land that I love. Um, oh, and I did get a beautiful. page finish. You can tell half the eagle is there and half of that berry bowl. So oh, um, Shelly, that is just beautiful. Yeah, I really enjoy stitching on it when it when it gets called. So, mm. so I, that was my two whip goes for May. And then Beautiful. other than my Sunday stitch, I've been monogamous on Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow because it's beautiful. We're getting that finished and we're going to ring the bell at StitchCon and then we're going to give it to Lisa Manton. And Lisa's probably having heart attacks right now with all the stuff we're talking about leaving with yeah, her. Maybe. But Good thing we warned her at Quilter Station. Yes. I can officially <laughs> say Shelly is like a horse heading to the barn. That's my favorite. <laughs> Yeehaw! So first I'll show you my Sunday stitch yeah. because I did start Sunday, a Sunday stitch with... Uh, when did we start it? The weekend of 24 hours, yeah. right? On that Sunday. And I had, um, oh, Though I He Seem as Sleeping by beautiful. Lucy Beam that I had already started. And I've made that my Sunday stitch. I'm going to stitch on that on Sundays until it's finished. I love it. I've seen so many people finishing it. And they are all different and they're all oh, yeah. gorgeous. That's pretty. So. I love this. The leaves. This, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. The <gasps> picture doesn't do pretty. justice. No, it really doesn't. That's, I don't know if somebody else wants to. I will try. And that's where I'm at with my. Oh, how am I doing? Beautiful? You tell me, girls. Very perfect, good. Shannon. Okay. Perfect. Very good. So that's my Sunday stitch, though he seems sleeping. I'm stitching that on 40 count papyrus by Color and Cotton. Oh, 
And I just, you know, she, in the pattern, she gives you the thread options for like all of the over dyes. Uh, Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works, Gentle Arts, and then she gives you a DMC conversion. And if you remember, we threw them all out on the table and I just picked the ones that I liked best for oh, each. Oh, good That's idea. Right, all three of them. So we'll see how it looks when it's done. This must be the the antique. Yes, I think so. Yeah. I am dying to get yeah. to that that it's border beautiful. with the leaves in it. I know, I like what I just said. It. I that's beautiful. So, anyway. Good so for that's you. my Sunday, Sunday stitch. stitch. Yeah. Awesome. Can I ask a question? Yep. Yeah. When you get done with Christmas at Hockren Hollow, yes. what's going to be the main focus after that? I want to get Katie's uh, bushel on the pack done. Okay. Oh, so that will be the, sure. that will take the place of Christmas at Hockren Hollow. Nice. And I have made quite a bit of progress since our last floss tube. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I decided to... I'll even stand up and hold it up. Oh, okay. I decided to save... So I had finished block 10 mm -hmm. at our last floss mm -hmm. tube. And I had 11 and 12 left. And as you know, I was not a big fan of the 12th block, so I was going to design my own. Well, I decided I'm going to design my own block and stitch that 12th block first. And then I'm going to go back to block 11 because it's full coverage. And I'm going to finish with that one. So I have designed and finished my 12th block, and I've started on block 11 already. Oh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, my so. land, Shelly Lynn. Um, we'll show the whole thing eventually, but if you just want to show like this yeah. part. Oh, those know. cardinals just I know. get me. Oh, shall right. right. I need my, let's I need my, where's your pointer? Where's my pointer? It's your pointer you got from Alabama, Alabama Judy. Judy. <laughs> We're going to miss seeing oh, her this year. Oh, it's not in here. God what? dang it. It's I must right. have, oh, it's I must can. have left it in my other bag. I'll oh, use this. Oh, shoot. Darn. I'll use this. <laughs> They usually always total slip more. up Alabama Judy. Okay. We we don't need to call her Alabama Judy. She's just Judy. Go ahead. I'm trying. <laughs> to, well, you know, yeah, it's it's gonna be curly because I had it in my hand. Is patience a virtue? A little, a little. I little. think it is. <laughs> Not here. Okay. So this is the block that I designed on my own. Didn't she do an awesome job? And it it's just beautiful. Says, you know, Christmas. I don't think they can see it. It's kind of rolled back, Shannon. Oh. There you go. I was trying to make it so it would be just, you know, so. Okay. Sorry. So it says Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. It has uh, the year 2023 on it. And I just threw in, I loved that deer in one of the blocks above. So I put that in there. I've decided there had to be a um, peacock in there because there's so many peacocks. I put some Christmas trees and some snow and a cardinal. So that is the block I designed. And then I have started the very final block, which for me is block 11. And I'm almost done with the ship. After that, I need to just um, stitch the words Happy New Year and put in some, there's like some fireworks above the boat. Yes. And then other than that, the re every other open stitch on that is black. Okay. So that's I have to so go nice of you to do hey. that for a model for the store, Shelly. <laughs> you get to see it all. <laughs> you get to see it all. Isn't that beautiful? Now you girls tell me if I'm. It's well, it's rolled. Yeah, it's because you because roll in hand. You roll. You got to move back. You roll in hand. I roll in hand. You got to stand back a little bit, Shelly. Okay. Yeah. Now put more. it down a little bit. No, yeah, you got to stand not... back more. There, there you go. go. There you go. All right. Isn't it beautiful? Hold this out. There we go. I never tire of seeing this. Me either. And it used to be every time the, a different block was my favorite. Yeah. But now I tell my you what. My favorite is this one with the cardinals. Those in cardinals it. are just yes. something. She really did a wonderful it's job. Yeah. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Just beautiful. So I'm excited. I'm, I got to keep plugging away so that All I. All you people going to A. Yeah. I'm hoping to ring the bell. And then give it to Lisa. Yeah, fun. To frame it. Beautiful. And then sell my second child. To, yeah. <laughs> to pay for the framing. <laughs> Noticed it wasn't the first one. <laughs> the second one is the one that's moved home, by the way. <laughs> she won't watch this anyway, so. She wanted to come today. She heard Auntie Shannon was going to be on. Oh. oh, can I come? No. I think, I think dealing with Shannon is enough. <laughs> 
Oh, for all you people from Blue Earth <laughs> to Cincinnati, watch out, we're coming. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's that was my whips and whip though, and and really, other than the six days that I stitched on my whip though, mm -hmm. I I'm one hundred percent Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. That's all I'm stitching on. Nice. So you'll do it. Who's next? You're up, Shannon. I am up. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, whip go, I'm doing the finishing, fully finishing thing. So I won't really talk about that. Other than I've been doing the um, flags on the 4th, uh, Primrose Cottage put out this idea and some patterns. And I have stitched 11 little flags. They're all a little bit different. And the, the, the goal Show was a little bit longer. Oh, sorry. The goal was if you start, if you do one flag on the fourth, if you do one on the fourth of every month, we started in July by the following July 4th, you would have 12. And I will, cause I oh, just have Shana, one left good for you. They're fun. They're, they're quick. They're fun. But, and you're going to make them all into little pin pillows, little pin pillows in hopes of putting them in some sort of a, I don't know, bread bowl or yeah. I've got a I've got a galvanized tray on my kitchen table that I've got a thing with flags in it. Mm -hmm. And I've done eleven. I have just one left to do. And then this will be my finishing goal for June to finish all these into little pillows. So once I get that twelfth one stitched. Show your backing fabric. You oh, have. I bought this when we oh. were at Quilter Station. I bought this beautiful little I don't know if you'll charm be able to charm pack yeah. of different, they're all different Americana type prints. And I'm hoping Cute. that these will work well for the backs on these because they're, they're tiny, I think. Yeah. So that's, that's going to be the whip go for June. Gorgeous. For June. Awesome. To, to, well, first I have to stitch that one, but. Awesome. And then as far as my whips, um, I know that Carol Saltbox talked about five for five. I first heard it from Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher. Mm -hmm. She talked about five for five. And because I tend to be, I'm not monogamous, but I like to finish things. And in fact, when I was preparing to do five for five, I put all my whips and my kits in my book here. I have 14 whips. So from this list, I pick and if I pick five for the month and I work on one, you know, five for five days each. Um, so that's what I did first in May. That's what I did. And I, I found that I really, really enjoyed it. So I think I'm going to continue that for a time. So I started off. Um, well, it doesn't matter which yeah. order I show them in. This... Um, this actually I planned, oh no, that's that's her next one I want to do. Good grief. I don't know why that's in there. Stacy Nash, Simple Pleasures Sewing Pouch. And I kind of, did I start this down at Quilter Station or had I started it and I was working on it just a little bit? I think you had started on it. I, I probably. You, you stitched quite a bit on it down there. Yeah. And actually it's nearly a finish. And God bless you, Pam. It's beautiful. I stopped. I think I stitched on it three days and I stopped because you see the little bunting at the top there? Mm -hmm. Those are all filled with different colors. That's what I have left to finish this. So I'm going to do this at StitchCon and ring Pam's bell. There you go. So I know I'll ring her bell at least once. But, Last year, uh, I think I rang beautiful. it twice, but... Yeah. So that is Stacy Nash, uh, Simple Pleasures Sewing Pouch. Then one of our dear finishers will get that to turn it into a pouch for me, is my plan. Is that an ice cream truck? What? Oh my gosh, it is. It I is. We oh, we one. gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> later. No. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you t I told you I'd been watching Outlander and stuff. That's what I'm going back to. I should oh talk gosh. about my beautiful bags that our friend Dee makes. Oh, they're oh. just beautiful. Yeah, they so here we have um, the hands-on design, the second grouping of three from the Gather Round series. And this one is Gathering Butterflies. And this is the first one called Quilted Butterflies. It's not done. Beautiful. But I'm working on that. So I'll work keep working okay. on on this series till I get these done because before you know it, you know, the autumn ones will come. Mm -hmm. So that's another one of my five. My five, I'll fix that later. Are you gonna fix it? Oh, okay. thank you, Vanna. You don't fold it all, all um, or what, what's Well, the I didn't here? fold those because they're okay. small. Okay. And Plum Street Sampler was another one of my wow. choices. This is Grace on the love it but i'm telling you what it's not for the faint of i mean they're beautiful but boy and this looks like mushroom lagana to they're me. stitch heavy aren't they yeah oh don't you love that big pile of floss there in the middle sorry it works oh that's beautiful though but i'm i'm getting a good portion of the yeah. house just getting the mortar done because I don't know, someone told me somewhere, somewhat, that you should stitch your, your white first. Your lighter color first. Your lighter first, color yeah. first, because it can it can pick up particularly red mm -hmm. if you stitch along it. So mm -hmm. this is, yep, I love it. I it's It'll be beautiful when it's done. And I actually saw this framed when we were in Kansas City. We went to... Um, what was that CC and company mm -hmm. and right there by their cash register it was and it was framed and I tell you I just it's beautiful so that was another one of my five my five then last year I think at market Brenda Gervais put out her book with the um, seasons of the heart and I haven't stitched any until well okay I got a bad habit here. But they're so organized. Well, they were. I started the summer oh. one, the patriotic oh, one. That's beautiful. It's so fun. I tell you, that flag is just a, that was just a gas to yeah. stitch. Just love it. Love it, love it. So that was another one of my, I'm Five soon done. Five. I feel like I'm just talking like nonstop. My last five by five was a little one that we got at Quilter Station, La Di Da Designs. It's called um, Flowers from Mary. And this is a small, mm, does that, Keep is that okay? Forward. Yep. There. there you go. This is a piece of an antique sampler that she has, mm -hmm. is my understanding, that she thinks in time she will chart and the whole and thing yeah. the whole thing and put out i told justine today this is hands down the most prim thing i think i've ever yeah stitched Ooh, it's so pretty it it's is beautiful. pretty i and i i'm still working i have two more days on this mm -hmm. but it's beautiful that's why it's yeah. in the hoop i we actually met in justine's back room today and stitched several several Thank you, stitchers everybody it was fun oh well, she had all the floss for us and everything yeah Really cool. I meant to come down around noon and stitch with everybody before we filmed this, but I got to move boxes instead. All is welcome at any time. For my college student that's moved home. This beautiful bag was a gift from our, our, our friend, our, our dear, dear friend, friend, Amber. Amber. And Amber has gone to quite a few retreats. Yeah, you'll Some know. Some of you may know Amber. Yeah, you'll know her on like Instagram as yeah. a Med City Stitcher. Med City Stitcher. Yeah. She lives in Rochester and works at yep. Mayo. So. Okay. Just an FYI, she's stitching my Welcome 2023. Oh, that's right. And she has it. Oh, good. Thank Here's you. another beautiful bag made by our friend Dee. Oh, I tell you, she just does beautiful work. And I bought this for this is my Sunday stitch. This is my last current whip that I've worked on. I just have to show this. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Look at those. With all those flosses. Yeah. Yes. It's pretty. 
that could be hanging on the wall all oh, by itself. Oh, it's beautiful. This is, um, oh boy, help me. Heartstring. Heartstring samplery. Um, the Sunday, mm, Sunday stitches. The hymns. Hymns. Sunday, yes. I had stitched one of these previously, my favorite hymn, Be Thou My Vision. I stitched that as part of that um, stitch camp yeah. that I did. Yeah. And I just decided, I bought both of my girls the book that she came out with at Market. It has all 12 of her Sunday stitches in it, plus three additional. And I bought one for each of my daughters as an, I said an Easter gift, whatever. But then I said, but you have to, you have to let mom stitch out of there sometimes. So this is the one I've started. This is, um, oh, it is well. It is well with my soul, and I'm ready to start the text. I've got the flower in the in the. Do you remember how much you struggled with the text on the first one? Yes. Is it the same text? Well, I don't know. The same font. That won't bother me one bit. Okay. No, I don't think it'll bother me at all. Okay. So, so tomorrow I'll start the text. Good for you. And I plan to kind of keep stitching these. I yeah. would like to have these framed and, and I have my mom's grand piano or baby grand piano at my home. It actually is a gift to my daughter, but she doesn't have room for it. So it's at my house. I would like to hang those around mom's piano. By the time you get them all done and hung, then she'll, she'll find it. room for yep. her piano. She'll want the piano. <laughs> Can I just say that's the piano that Shelly yeah. won't let me play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Justine had this. This is all the hymns that are in that book they're they're on there and those and they she's reused all the fibers for all all the pieces so i just have it i just i put this all together and i just stare at it it's beautiful <laughs> i just think that is the most beautiful thing so that's my sunday stitch and that's kind of what i've been up to i've got a few finishes but i showed you fully finished things that's fine i don't well maybe as we go i'll show you more things but okay. All right. Sorry, I'll Just quit talking. All right. Well, my Sunday stitch is his eyes on the sparrow. Oh. And remember, this isn't going to be done till I'm getting Social Security and I'm not taking it early. <laughs> You've made progress, yeah. though. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, but it's... um. Okay, I'm going to ask a question. Uh-oh, what did I do? No, 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 no. Your opinions. Like, if I would ever start something like that, are you in the, oh, do your border, make sure your border is right and meets up, or stitch your border as you go, as you turn the corner, as you... Uh, I think Shelly's the opposite of me. <laughs> no, I think... Back when I first started stitching, I had this need to finish the border for some reason first. And I don't. I, now it's, now I don't. Now I would just be out of my mind yeah. if I got to the end and the border didn't. Oh my gosh. I would make the border yes, match. Yes, I think that's can, why I, you can fudge And it. I just have not got off the green yet because then I'll start yeah. the well, sure is, But I found that I get bored if I'm, all I'm stitching yeah. is border, border, okay. border. So what I'll do is I'll. I'll treat myself. I'll stitch some border and then I'll say, oh, I'm going to go in. I'm going to count off the border here and stitch a motif or something. And then I'll go back to the border and do a bit more. That's what I've been doing lately. Anyway. Okay. I, there are I was just obviously curious. no rules, but um, yeah. Several times I've seen Carol Saltbox. She'll get her bones done. She calls it her bones. Yeah. Of the... And yet sometimes she doesn't. So yeah. I don't, you know, I, I just, just, I just, whatever you just wondered like. what what your thinking was because yeah. I have in time have to get brave enough to start something a little bigger mm. just to prove to myself I can do it I think Go ahead. Sorry. there are no rules sorry we got I no. got off all right here is my <laughs> this was my whip go for oops sorry this is the color of air mm, it's pretty did no. you get it done yeah it's all yeah. done no, I mean your whip go part. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You had to do a square, right? Exactly. Okay. So this but this was Oh, this was maze, wasn't it? Okay. And then peace was again, and I have not done it for this month. 
but I did finish it up from last month and it's on next month. <laughs> I think so. that's a good way you're doing that. Yeah. You know, I really, I really enjoy do. it. You're getting a lot done. I think it's yeah. similar to this 5 by 5 yes, when yeah. you actually make progress on things. In fact, I was telling Shannon today that I'm going to try to do the same thing next year. And everything that's on that is not completed this year is going to go back on the board next year. Yeah. And then when it does get completed, then I'll just add something there different. You go. Yep. I, so. Oh, that, beautiful, Justine. <coughs> so those are my, those were my whips. <laughs> And you whip that's those. what well and you've been but you, you finished, stitched a lot yeah, on turkey yeah hollow farm turkey and, hollow and you yeah, and that reindeer one you finished that so you've just been doing been a lot doing of stitching more stitching than normal yeah. reindeer what did i stitch that was reindeer the one that red one that, oh that right <laughs> i forgot sorry take two of those pills in take the two of those pills in the morning <laughs> by the way thank you marcia i'm taking you marcia <laughs> she's taking those pills that she can remember to take them <laughs> The, the mem what is it? The Pre memory? Pre Prevagen? Prevagen? Yeah. For, for memory? She's going to start taking two. Yeah. If she could remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <What>? shoot. <coughs> okay, what's next? Uh, plans, and we can talk. How about new starts? Oh, I don't have any new starts. Do you have any new starts? Oh, I'm sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> um, well, yes, the Brenda Gervais was a new start. Was a new start. Um, and the new start of the Gathering Butterflies. But okay. I showed you those as my five by five. Oh boy, you both had me there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think what happened is I finished Turkey Hollow, and I'm like, oh That's my gosh, it. I can't believe she didn't tell you. Well, I should believe. I should believe. I kind of halfway expected. Oh, it did you? She was booking right along, and I thought, I told I you. Thought, she had a goal because she wants to leave it with Lisa to yeah. prime it. So. But I thought you were both. I thought you'd leave two stitches or something so you could ring the bell. And that's what See, I. See, that's how my brain do. goes. That's what I was going to do, but I have another one that I want to okay. do. For that, okay. Okay. So. Um, so I was um, looking at patterns for something and I'm like, I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this because I want them for models. So I need to do this. That is cute. This is Lucy I don't even do, Halloween I don't even day. stitch much Halloween. I but thought, that's cute. I yeah. think that is cute. And I didn't have that type of fabric. So I, I pulled orange. There you go. Why not? That'll be cool. So I found out that stitching this orange is almost like stitching black. Really? Is so, it an even weave though? Yes. That helps. Yes. That helps me. I don't know about anybody else, but. Okay, then I am sick <laughs> and tired of thinking, I wanna do that someday. I wanna do that someday. Well, you know what? Tomorrow is not promised. That's so right. I did That's it today. Right. So this is home. Oh, and the housewives. I saw 141 designs in the back of her. This is done in blue on an off white and she is hanging on a ladder. Oh. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Okay. So I have You're all my girl hats. good. That'll be good filling work. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. That looks like my car stitch that I'm yeah. still stitching on. So I'm using Gee, Chesapeake you're not Bay. not far enough. No, you're right. And I, I have the H outlined. Oh, I love um, it. The M is starting to be outlined, but my goal is to have the H, the M, and the E all outlined before we go. Cool. Okay. Good That's for you. Good, I, good plan. That blue is you, Justine. That's just all there is to it. Oh, I and, like that. Uh, yes. Ooh. And then um, Lucy Beam Lovin' Stitches. It's a tomato needlework set. So needlebook and scissor fob. Cute. But of course, That's you know, you neat. look at these and you're like, I can get that done in a weekend. I oh. can get that done in a weekend. <laughs> This is what I pulled last Friday when I went home from work. I didn't get it done in a weekend. <laughs> but look at these. I love these colors. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, they are. So yes, yeah, you know, gonna... tomatoes come in all different colors. Oh, yes. So my next step is to outline this tomato and 
get going and then outline them there all so I can work on those That's also. That's really neat. Boy, you're really thinking. I have no idea what I'm going to stitch at StitchCon, to be honest. Maybe we need to catch you up some things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, again, this one. I saw this at market, and it's like, you know what? Why haven't you kitted it up already? I love yeah, these. What I don't know what they are. They're def they're, um, the meaning of the flag. Oh. It is neat. So I am stitching red, white, and blue. And the colors, they say what the colors mean. Yeah. So here is Valor. Valor says it's a noun. Great courage in the face of danger, heroic bravery. I love that. So I have all three pieces cut. Read them all. Purity says the state of being unsullied by evil innocence. And perseverance, persistence in doing something despite difficulty. Yeah, I love it's it. It's my little stitch girl. I'm sorry. Those are neat. the meaning cool. of the flag. And yes. I want them I want to finish them just like that. On box. Yep, and I want them in my window next weekend. Oh. Okay. Okay. You do one, I'll do one, you do one. Yeah. I'll be done. So <laughs> See how that goes. Okay. What else you got there? Is that plans? Yep. Okay. Are we at plans? Are we at plans? Or or are we going to do, do haul last or plans or what are we going to do? Let's do haul last. Let's Let's Oh, you want to do haul now? I don't care. Okay. Is that haul or plans? Both. Okay. It's up to you. What start you us do? off. I don't care. Yeah, start us off. Okay. Well, this is what Shelly gave me, you know, like five weeks ago, and I keep forgetting to bring it. The oh. Windsor Sample 1821 by The Wishing Thorn. Isn't that beautiful? And I finally got some in the store. Isn't that Did beautiful? You? Good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Maybe I need to kit that up and take that home yeah. this weekend. And I got that it. for myself too, but you know it's going to be red, right? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Is that surprise, our next competition? Surprise, Maybe. Surprise. Yeah. Surprise. Okay. And let's see. I think I had more down here. Yes. Okay. Also, I don't know if you guys realize how much I enjoy my job. And the people that I get to meet, I mean, I get to meet people from all over the United States, all over the world. I can't thank you enough. This gal was in here last week with her mother and her daughter, and it's not the first time she was here. Mm -hmm. She was here last year when you and I were heading out. I don't know if we were heading out to a retreat or you were heading one way and I was heading the okay. other way. But her name is Erica Vett. And lo and behold, she is an author. Oh my gosh. And she has a series of books. So, she's from Rochester, Minnesota. Okay. This is Erica. And The Lost Lieutenant is the first in a series. Oh. So, you got one. I oh, did? Chris, oh, goody. Chris, yours was mailed yesterday. Thank you so much. And my mother got one. And it is about... Um, uh, historic and then romance. Historic fiction is my favorite. Yep. And this is where I'm getting kind of confused because so I got it on audio. Okay. So oh, it's on audio? It. It's on audio. Oh, okay. In fact, the, the, a couple of the gals today, um, back when we were stitching, yeah. downloaded it. But, um, I so I'm listening to this on audio and watching Outlander. I'm getting kind of confused. Oh. Which, what top <laughs> century <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Oh, neat. So, so yes. yes. Can I touch it? Yep. So oh, thank you, is, um, Erica. That's sweet. Wow. wow. I can't wait to get into that. New York Times best-selling author. Yeah, and I, I mean, she I'll, she says I, I write books. I'm like, hey, uh, well, 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 let's wait go back minute. there. Just a minute here <laughs> now. Back that up. Yep. So I was on Amazon immediately. Okay, so that is my... That's my oh. haul. Okay, that's your haul. Or you want me to talk about haul? I just have one little thing I want okay. to show and mention. I think I've talked about my daughter's. This is going to get convoluted. My daughter's boyfriend's mother. Yes. And her mother and grandmother, who were both stitchers, from what I understand. I hope Beth. I hope I'm saying this right. Okay. Anyway, um, Katie came home a couple weeks ago with this Rubbermaid tote for me. And she said, this is from Beth, her boyfriend's mom. In it are several <gasps> lavender and lace oh, my patterns, all 
kitted. Want me to pull and, it forward? Yeah. The whole all lanyards. kitted. Shelly yep. Lynn. Yep. I know. I'm super excited. Can you see, folks? Okay. Oh, my goodness. I know. I don't. I'd have to dig into that one to see what the name is. Um, this one. Maybe I can find it. Is it Black Swan? No, Black Swan. This one is Angel of the Sea. Oh, she's got a big rubber band right across her front. Well, we're going to fix that. This one is Sweetheart Rose. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, she's holding an infant. And the third one is Angel of Spring. So there were three fully kitted <gasps> lavender and laces in here with beads and the whole nine yards. And sorry if I'm saying this wrong, Beth, but so Beth's, Beth is Katie's boyfriend's mom. Sue is Beth's mom. And Sue had these, they were, they were handed down from her mother Okay. And one of them, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's Beth's mom or Beth's mom, mom, mom's mom, had a stitch, an embroidery shop. Oh, really? I believe so. I'll, 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 I will check fact or fact check that. But, um, so yeah. I, and I sent Beth a text to thank her, but I just Sorry, want to. Sorry, I have to move the rubber I want to thank them again oh, personally. Oh, and she's playing a, uh, uh, what do they call it? It's well, not a violin, but it's... Well, and it's not even a mandolin, because she is using a bow. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway. I don't know but what yeah. it's called. It's not a viola. I know that. No. Oh, my. No. It looks similar so. to a... I don't know. So don't that's know that's my haul. I'm very <gasps> cool. excited about oh, this. Fun. I don't know when I will get a chance to start one. I do have one lavender and lace that I've purchased. It's that one with... It's the Noel one. With the long red dress, Whoa. it's just gorgeous. So. And why did you purchase that? Because you saw who stitching it. Uh, Georgia girl, I think stitched it. Did no. she, or was, was it? it um, or was it? Um, I can see stitcher? her. Yes, it might have been her. I think I don't remember which, but yeah. So anyway, <laughs> thank you, Beth and Sue. I am very grateful for this, and um, that's very generous. So thank you so Beautiful. much. I really appreciate Neat. it. That's my haul. You have any haul? Well, I have just a little haul just because um, I wanted to kit a couple things up for next month. Um, I got some fabric today from Justine. I had bought, um, Justine had got me this pattern. I had seen this on a previous um, floss tube and I saw it again this week that I can't right off the top of my head remember who was showing it. This is a um, Silver Creek Samplers. It's called Michael's Prayer. And, oh shoot, I was gonna tell you all about it. But I turned everything around. Uh, Michael Judge was a Franciscan friar and Catholic priest who served as a chaplain to the New York Fire Department. While serving in that capacity, he was killed becoming the first certified fatality on September 11th, 2001. The inspiration for this sampler came from a prayer said by Father Michael, Lord, take me where you want me to go. Let me meet who you want me to meet. Tell me what to say and keep me out of your way. So I just thought that was, that just really moved me. So. Uh, I want to start cool. that next month. It is very cool. So you should never, you should never doubt the designer because I, th I told Justine, well, I don't know. I want to get different fabric. I, I, you know, I don't know. I said, well, show me the call for. Yeah, the call for which was the um, Tim Ruff. No, Confederate gray. Confederate gray. Yes. <laughs> well, They're very course. similar. Well, actually. of course, yeah. that's. I said, oh yeah, absolutely. That's what I need to stitch it on. So. I get that, Good. and I'm getting, I haven't even paid for my fabric. It's up on the counter, and I have a few floss that I got today. Um, and then when we were in at Coulter Station, again, in that delightful little, not that I didn't love Coulter Station, <coughs> I did, but that little CC and Company, I had never seen this. This is by Little House Needleworks, Battle Hymn of the Republic. And our family... 
history mm -hmm. is such that we have we have kind of a background in choral singing. Mm -hmm. And if you have ever been in a choir that has sung oh, the Battle Hymn of the Republic, it gives you chills. You will forevermore. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It is part of you. Yep. If you ever sing it, it is part of you. And I saw this, and I had to have it. So I hope to be yeah. working on that. And then, um, yeah, that's that's my haul. Okay. That I haven't paid for yet. It's up there. <laughs> Do I look worried? Oh, well, you know, you never know. <laughs> All right, so on to plans, and we should talk about, because we know the numbers now, June WIPCO and what we're going to be up to. Go ahead. Oh. You want me to go? Go. Okay, so as you all know. Take that out of her hands. That makes me nervous. My biggest my <laughs> biggest know, just plan. Swat us. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> my biggest plan is to finish my Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. And my, I did pull the two numbers that were pulled for um, WIPCO um, are, and I brought them, but I don't need to show them if you don't want me to. Um, yeah. Rose Quaker was pulled, which I'm very excited about because oh, I haven't so stitched on pretty. it in a very oh, long time. So pretty. And another one of my favorites that I haven't stitched on in a long time, and a forest grew. Oh, so I guess no. I could show you where I'm at yeah. with them right now. And then. Um, That's not your amber bag, is it? No, this is my bag from Deirdre. Oh, okay. Deirdre Ron. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. I've never I met her, but bag. I want to. I love this bag. Yeah, Deirdre. beautiful. Oh. Sorry, we were in Winona moving Katie, and I would have loved to have stopped and see you, but there was unfortunately no time, so. Well, you know, yeah. we all know what moving's like. Yeah. So here is my Rose Quaker. This is where it's I'm at. beautiful, Shelly. Right now. Yeah. You want... <coughs> I am sorry. I had that cold in our last floss tube, and now I've got this cough that will not go away. So it's very irritating, but it's beautiful. So yes, I'll be sewing on that, and then, gosh, I I don't know when the last time was I sewed. I remember stitched, the last time you showed me that stitched ring of on, floss for this. Holy yes. Oh, I love last it. Last time I stitched on Anna Forest grew, but that's where I'm at right I now. I love that. I want to say I got a page finish on. Does that, that. have a big border? No, there's no border. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is that over one? Uh, although, I don't think so, no. Although, God bless her. Um, Chris taught me how to stitch over one, and I can oh, do oh, it. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, and I have Very one more good. to say thing to say about okay. Sunday stitching. And then I also have a super double secret spy mission project that I will be working on. Um, after I get Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow, and I can't say anything about that right now. So, but someone we'll that's, beat her later. Someone that's watching knows what it is. So, really? Yep. So, anyway. really? Did you want to see that big old? Thing oh my gosh! Yes. This isn't even all of it. Oh, for Pete's sake! I don't think. Now, see that? You know, no border. That you yeah. know, maybe that's what I need to start if I'm gonna do. I mean something more substantial that I really commit to. There's no but border on a, Rose Quaker either. But without a border. You could do Rose Quaker. Yeah. yeah. No border on that. So those Beautiful. are my plans. I can find lots of things for you to stitch, Shannon. I'm sure you could. <laughs> Maybe Here she up. should do the courage, oh. the courage stitch yeah. along with us that we're going to start with Pam at StitchCon. Oh, that's right. You're both starting that? I think so. That, I have that in mind. I think I'm going to do mine in green for colon for cancer. For colon cancer? Yeah. Well, I thought about that, too. Yes, that's another thing that's kind of in the plans, although I haven't pulled the pulled the trigger yet. I, Justine and I are going to talk about it after this. Justine's done, though. Justine's done? Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. show you. It's all about you. I'll show you. Okay. Okay. All right. So, plans? Yes. All right. Of course, I talked about I have one more flag in the fourth to stitch, and then my whip goal for June is to finish all those 12 little pillows, which I'm telling you what, you go, will girl. be a challenge for me, because me and the sewing machine are not... The sewing machine Satan? Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Satan lives in it. And then, of course, on Sundays, I'll stitch my uh, Sunday stitch, and I wanted to say, Kathy, I did tell the girls that you also started a Sunday stitch with us on that day, thank even you, though you, you weren't there, and that I told them you 
you will, you think of us on Sundays when you're stitching yes. it. And we think of you too. And congratulations on the birth of your grandson. Oh, I can't show you this chart, but it, it's in another beautiful D bag. I tell you what, that girl is just the bag making queen. Yeah. Um, but it... It is one of my five by five. I've picked my five for five for June. And this is one, it's hats off to Uncle Sam. It was a gift from Alma at the Quilters uh, Station Retreat. And with it, it's just a small little stitch, but we got a beautiful little um, salt, box. salt box. And it's the, this is supposed to go on the top of the salt box. So I decided I would <laughs> That would be one of my five by five. Um, the other one, I'll continue on <coughs> the uh, season, the summer, Seasons of the Heart by Brenda Gervais. I will continue on my hands-on design, Gathering Butterflies. See how far I get on that. I will continue, you can see a theme here. I'm kind of going with Patriotic for next month. Grace on Me, I will continue to stitch on that. And then that leaves either the battle hymn or Michael's prayer. I don't think it's gonna take me long to stitch this little one. So I think I may start both of those. Yay, there you that's go. Start. That's my, that's, those are my plans. Yep, okay. that's it. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't know. Are you really ever ready? <laughs> not I, really. I'm not oh, sure. Shoot. Everything just fell. Oh no. Okay. So this is the one that I'm going to finish at StitchCon. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I started it at StitchCon. So this is August by Stitching with the Housewives. Because you remember how much I love these colors. <laughs> I may have said that a couple times last year. <laughs> Maybe a couple. <laughs> okay, you're making progress. So here's August. You realize you have a big fat barn to do on, yet on that, right? Details. <laughs> details. Hey, she's done with with uh, Turkey Hollow Farm, so. Okay, so that is one, and then details, details. She says. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, so I am going to start sim er, um, Simple Gifts Courage with Pam at StitchCon 8. And I was talking to Shelly because I have known lots of people that have different types of cancers. Yeah. So first I was going to do a different color for different motifs for you know all kinds of different cancers then i was watching somebody and and i read it and um purple lilac is the color of all cancers so i had a couple different um purples together <coughs> i had me to hold something well i had these two together Plum Paisley and Amethyst, which by the way is Shelly's birthstone. <laughs> Loved it forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm like, yes. I'm gonna um, Needle Bling Designs, Shrekie's Tan, okay? okay? So I pulled in a couple more Amethysts and then I ordered more Plum Paisley. Well, when I ordered more Plum Paisley, just like anything else, um, oh. the, uh, Variegation was different, which I love. Good. So now I'm going to use, I grabbed a couple of the old and a couple of the new. Mm -hmm. So and you have another. Um, this is where we're going. Whoops, sorry. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's not part of that. Yep. Thank okay. you. So, okay. Very that's pretty. That's one thing that I'm going to start. Okay. Okay. Okay, now that I dropped everything. Um, That's I, an Ada, right? Yep. Okay. So I am going to do Welcome to oh, the North Pole. I'm going to start this. Mm -hmm. 
it's a stitch along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember how much I love this at market? Yep. And I, I remember asking them, I love the frame. Where did you get the frame? I remember her dad. She yes. was saying her dad made I've it. I've seen uh -huh. that before. It's yeah. beautiful. So I have, I believe it's this one. Yes, welcome to the North Pole. And here are those colors. Oh, pretty. Sorry about the mess. That's very pretty. But yes, so that is another start I'm going to have. Okay. Wow, girl. Okay. Boy, she's just ready to go here. She are is, you still with me? She's yeah. had a, a real oh. resurgence. Okay, and then this um, is also on yeah. my Wibco board. It has not been called, but Heaven and Nature Sing by Kathy Barrick. But this is going with me to StitchCon because I can hopefully fill in the deer a little more. Yeah. Oh, and my other Wibco call was um, Christmas Garden. Oh, okay, that's right, you told me that. So, okay, so here's this. Okay, then I may have a couple more starts. Anybody counting? <laughs> Just in case you wanna know, my house is pretty dirty right now. <laughs> Join the club. Okay, again, tomorrow's not promised. God darn it, I'm starting it. Here's Mary, okay. and I so want to hang this up there by my holiday section. Yeah, well that would be fun. So we have Ribbon Red and 12 Green. Ribbon Red is one of my favorites. Oh, it's on black, holy bole. Thank you. So here we go. Oh boy. Is it striped or plaid or it's, what is it's it? Striped. It's striped. Oh, cool. Okay. That's cool. Well, that's a lot of stitching. That is. Holy moly. Then, um, Kathy, two needles pulling thread. Oh, yeah. Is doing Jingle All the Way by Amy Brecken. I can't let her do it by herself. No. no. So here is number one, and here's number two, which actually they kind of go together. Oh, so great. by gosh, by golly. She's got that ready too. Gonna oh, start that puppy. Okay, in this last one, I'll wait just a minute. That's shop news. Oh, okay. So, yep, that's what I'm gonna hey, do. Hey, here's your black oh. Lugana for your Thank you. Mary. What's I the think. other one there? That's for that's this. Okay. For that. okay. Oh, you got two in one bag. Yeah. Well, you obviously need to check with Dee. <laughs> Dee, she needs more bags. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Those are my plans. Okay. I mean, beyond that, it's time for shop news, so you might as well just go right into it. Well, hell, am I up again? Yes. Okay, well, I ha I do have a gift. Okay. One for you. Okay. And one for you. Okay, now. Why me? When Tracy oh, from Ink Circles you. emailed us and showed us her newest releases, I just looked at this and went, Oh my gosh. Can you imagine the thousand different ways you can do this? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Either you can stitch the whole thing. You can stitch one button and make a pillow. You know, you can do all kinds of things. Oh. So since we hit 5,000 subscribers, I am putting this out there that we're going to have um, a drawing and whoever stitches this, and finishes it. So it's not a stitch along, it's a flong. A flong? <laughs> it's a flong. A finally she said a finished word. along. <laughs> finally finished along, okay. And if you tag me in Instagram, you have to tag me in Instagram or stop in the shop and I'll take a picture or mail me a picture. That is the only way. So tag me in Instagram on your fully finished Stop in and I'll take a picture or send me a picture. And October 1st, I will have a drawing for a $50 gift certificate. Awesome. That wow. way, if you send it out to be fully finished, there's it gives some time to be done. But remember, it doesn't have to be the whole thing. It just has to be a part of this design. And fully finished. And fully finished. Okay. So, so I was talking to the girl stitching in the back yeah, today. Yeah, Julie started it today. Did she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And we decided that what I'm going to do, I'm gonna start stitching the corners. So I have it here ready to go. Well, I had it. And those are ready. all the called for. Yes, aren't they They're beautiful? They're beautiful. Yes. And what we're going to do is we're gonna have a, um, like a round robin. And so look at that. Oh, they're pretty. Mm, they're they're, they're really pretty. Yeah. So we're going to have a round robin. I'm going to stitch the border and I'll stitch the needles and the adjoining thread. But we're going to have different people stitch the buttons and oh, put their initials in idea. it. Oh, that's a And um, we had talked about, I'm still deciding, on whether you have them stitch it in their favorite color uh -huh. or if we use these colors. And honestly, after looking at these colors, I, I don't know because I love them. Yeah, they're beautiful. But who knows? So that's how we're going to do that. And then we'll, I'll get it framed and we'll hang it in the shop. Oh, that's cool. Because so. if other people, I mean, like, if you're going to stitch this yourself, you can do your favorite colors. Absolutely. Because yeah. you can do anything you want. So tag me that's on Instagram. Me. Send me a picture or stop in and I'll take a picture. And on October 1st. I will do the drawing for everybody who has responded for a $50 gift certificate. Okay. Yeah, I was watching um, Antique Needleworkers and Shelly was showing this one today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, neat. I saw neat. they were showing it on um, the attic. Mm -hmm. on, yeah. Well, maybe that's the one. It was, yeah. it was I don't beautiful. Know. No, I thought it was... It's just there's so many, there's so many different things you can do and everybody things different. So yeah. I can't wait. I yeah. hope you guys participate. I can't wait um, to see the different different styles. And um, if you bring it in, you know, I, I will be posting it on Instagram and Facebook. So okay. cool. I already have kind of an idea. I think this is cool. So pink button jar. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Cool. Yeah. We'll see. Hi ho! <laughs> so, and again, thank you guys all for um, stopping in for your mm -hmm. online orders, for your emails. Um, if you call and I don't answer, that just means that I'm with a customer because quite often I'm here by myself. I will call you back. It may be later that evening or f the following day, but I will get you called back. So, awesome! Yeah, thank you for joining us, Shannon. Yes. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yes, pleasure to have you. So the next time we'll get together will be after stitch con. Yes. I'm sure everything will go perfect and nothing will happen. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. It will be uneventful, especially when we drive I... through Clear Lake, Iowa and go to the Culver's <laughs> to see if they remember us. <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness. All right. Are look we out, ready? Look out Cincinnati. Oh Here we go. <laughs> Have a great two couple weeks. Cheers, Cheers to stitching. Bye-bye, everyone.